Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to start running this view create command straight away. Uh, because what I'm going to do during the next eight minutes is that I'll build a view application from scratch uh, that talks to AWS Lambda. I'll set up a local development environment uh, and I'll set up a complete uh, production grade continuous deployment workflow um, pushing to a global content delivery network uh, powered by Netlify. Uh, deploying the lambdas alongside with my front end code and giving me uh, infinite staging environments for every single pull request. Uh, so as I mentioned before, I'm Matt Billman from, from Netlify. I'm one of the founders of Netlify. Uh, and Netlify is, is a platform built around automating all of the workflow around what we talk about as a Jamstack. Basically, when you build these types of applications where you separate the front end and the back end and you typically have a static front end that talks to dynamic microservices. So that's, that's one of the things we're going to, to build today. I'm running this um, wonderful view CLI um, to create a little demo application. And as you can all see, it's busy downloading all the, all the internet. Um, <laughs> it's part of everyday JavaScript development. Um, will probably be the longest part of my talk. Well, in general, will be downloading the internet over and over again. Uh, in different places. Uh, this is the first place I'll download it. Um, what I'm trying to, to achieve is to build a, a little view application that talks to a little function running on AWS Lambda. Um, and the first step is, of course, to get a view application. Uh, view CLI has done that for me now, uh, and I'm going to CD into the application. And then I'm going to run a little command view at Netlify Lambda. So this, adds, uh, this is a little plugin uh, I made for, for, for Vue that installs a little local uh, development environment that will give you like a development server for your, for your Lambda functions. Uh, and it will also configure your project in a way so it's, so it's ready for, for continuous deployment to Lambda and to Netlify. Um, this downloads a little less of the internet um, and I'll spin up a code editor. Um, if we see here, the, the main addition to, to the repo is a little folder called Lambda. And every file we put inside that folder will be compiled into a Lambda function and will be made available on our published site under a relative path, starting with .netlify slash functions uh, and then the name of the file. Um, so let's get a little um, local development server up and running. And meanwhile, I'll start modifying the standard example code a bit. I'll get rid of the, the boilerplate. Uh, here we go, we have our view app running locally. Uh, I'll output a little Lambda message. Uh, and let's make a little button so we can call our Lambda. Make a little click handler called call Lambda. And then we need to edit our component a little. Let's add the data model here. And we'll add our little callback method. I'm just gonna use the HTML fetch API to talk locally to, to our Lambda. Um, whoops, good call. And let's see. Something obviously went wrong. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, I should actually do something with the data. So I'm gonna <laughs> take the response. I'm gonna turn the response into JSON. And then I'm going to take that JSON. And I'm just going to set this Lambda message to JSON message. Let's see. This was better. So this is calling the little local development server. But that's not enough, right? We, we want continuous deployment. So I'm going to create 
a new GitHub repository. Uh, here locally, I'm gonna add the new stuff we did and do a commit. Uh, and then we are gonna push to GitHub. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna go to Netlify. Um, and I'm gonna start creating a new, uh, a new site from GitHub. Talking to GitHub's API right now. I'm gonna look for my project. Here we go. I don't actually need to set any options because the project has already been prepared with a little netlify.toml file to deploy to Netlify. So as soon as GitHub's API comes back to me, I can just say deploy site. And what's happening now with that click is that Netlify is setting up a full continuous deployment process uh, from your Git repository. Uh, it's adding all the necessary webhooks and everything uh, and starting to run the, the initial build. Uh, and we'll start seeing the, the, our, our build script running on Netlify's build servers. Uh, now we're starting to download all of the internet on Netlify. Um, <laughs> again, it's a really important step of, of modern JavaScript development. Um, and Netlify is gonna set up a, a continuous deployment process to, to our own content delivery network that we operate across seven different cloud providers with points of presence all over the world. So basically this is the kind of process that used to take like a DevOps team's three months to set up and, and, and it's done here with, with a click. It's not just deploying the front end, it's also deploying those Lambda functions straight to, to AWS. And now we are ready. So if I go here to my new site, I'll see I have a, a, a Netlify URL running under HTTPS. Um, and if we look at the network tab here, I can see that once I click here, we are sending a click, it's actually going to uh, AWS Lambda and triggering our new function. Let's, let's do a last little thing, just because obviously this took way less than eight minutes. Um, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna take our little Lambda function here uh, and do a little edit. To say hello ViewCon, I'm gonna create a new branch and make a little pull request. And once I do this request, you'll see that, that Netlify will pick up the, the pull request in a moment and, uh, and we'll start, uh, start seeing a new, new build triggering. So basically we've seen here, we have a new build. Demo effect here, it seems like our Kubernetes cluster is auto scaling, so it'll probably take a minute before it actually runs. Um, once, this is once, once this actually does run, we'll see that Netlify also sets up caching for, for all the dependencies. So where the first time we had to download all of the internet, the second time it will essentially just be Netlify running uh, and, and pushing it live. Uh, and it will also deploy the, the, the Lambda as an, as an immutable function um, specifically for this pull request. So this means that every single pull request I, I, I make can have its own version of this Lambda function. When I open the pull request and talk to it, it will talk to the specifically deployed version of, of the Lambda function. Uh, and we essentially get like a staging environment for every pull request I, I ever make. That was, that was it. All right. <laughs> <laughs>